The, the next guy we want to get to is someone you, we've kind of talked, or you kind of hit on a little bit, but LaVisca Chenault uh, out of Colorado. Um, I think he's another interesting prospect here. Um, again, not in a great offense out of Colorado. 6'2", 220, had a 35% dominator rating, 19.9 breakout age. Um, did have a 20% target share, but he was somebody that was kind of – just a jack of all trades sort of in that offense. He, he was deployed as kind of that do it all player. They put him at wildcat. They had him run, you know, be, do, uh, be a running back at, at wide receiver. I think even, uh, I saw somewhere that maybe he played some tight end as well for them. I mean, he's just kind of an interesting prospect here, but how, how do you feel that he is going to be utilized, you know, in the NFL, you know, is he going to be somebody that's kind of like a Percy Harvin Cordell Patterson type, or is he somebody that, that's going to be able to come in and just be a pure wide receiver? Visca Chenault, one of the top wide receivers in the country this year. He's from the Lone Star State, the football factory that is DeSoto High School. He was a midseason All-American just one year ago. This is one of the top players in America. And we know that he's physical. If you press the guy, it's a mistake. who runs over the top of the defender and discards the defensive player and chucks him aside and works his way down to the 30. That right there came down to a will and a want to and a matter. Yeah, that's, that's probably my main hang-up when I'm evaluating him is he does have really good age-adjusted metrics. We did see a dip this year um, <clears throat> in his age 20 season. From his age 19 season, we, we did see a, a pretty significant dip in production, but I think that's because uh, from what I've seen, um, from from what I've seen with with Chanel on tape, they didn't really have a set place to use him this year. And I know last year, the um, 2018 as well, he probably had a little versatility in his game, but I think he was used more as a wide receiver in 2018 than he was this previous season in 2019. Now, I saw him line up in the Wildcat. I saw him line up in the slot. I saw him line up as a tight end. I saw him line up in the backfield. I saw him used in so many um, interesting ways. And for me, that either hurts or it helps a guy. Um, right now, he's he's a wide receiver. That's what we have him listed at. He's an uber athlete. I think he's he is going to test very, very well for his size and his weight. I think that he is he's a guy that runs very hard, runs well, does well in contact balance, does well in the open field. He's got good hands. He can catch well. He's a very well-rounded athlete. He can high point. He can run. He can he can do it all. My issue there is probably um, uh, what is he going to do and what is a team going to ask him to do? And that kind of worries me more for fantasy purposes because I think Livyska Chenault is going to be an amazing um, a, a player in the NFL. I think we're going to see a lot of, of, of flashes of greatness from him. I think you're going to see a lot of really fun things from him in the league. But my issue would be where where do teams kind of value him? Where is he going to be used? Because typically we want to see him being used as a wide receiver, catching passes. He has the profile to do it. It's just going to be whether or not a team thinks he has the pedigree to do it and the team thinks uh, and they're willing to kind of groom him to um, revert some from some of that versatility and just stick him at a wide receiver position. And that's not to say he can't run sweeps. He can't be used on wide receiver screens because he can. Uh, but we want to see him use in that role more for fantasy purposes. Like I said, we want to see him kind of have a solidified role with the team that he goes to. Can they harness that athletic ability? Can they use that? The fact that he's an age 19 breakout and that he has two really good years of solid production, even though he did take a, a dip this year, he still was above the threshold that we look for um, for an age 20 wide receiver. So for me, um, it's going to come down to where he lands and what team gives him that 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 draft capital. He's definitely prob he's in that tier three for me, I believe, right now. If I'm not mistaken, I do have him. Um, yeah, I, I actually I actually still have him in tier two, probably the bottom of tier two, more of a fringe guy, I would say. But um, interesting prospect, a guy that 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 has a, a loads of versatility, loads of athleticism. He's somebody that I'm excited to get a little bit deeper on and get um, a couple more data points for him, and and hopefully we can dial in um, where should where we should be picking this guy in, in rookie drafts. Yeah, no, I think I again, I think he's going to be uh, kind of an interesting uh, prospect and really going to be fun to see.
this time the coverage is good, but Chenault leaks out late and gets a first down. LaVisca Chenault's touchdown, Colorado! Contest pass complete to number two, Chenault. Montez boots to his left. He's got a man wide open. 